we all get whooping for leave the yard. Mm -mm. Not even left me could have left the yard, may I tell the people. Mm. Because hey guys, my welcome say. back to the channel. So today we're gonna be making chomain teriyaki beef flavor. So we're gonna be doing that. And then right here we have some fresh wings that we washed clean um, in vinegar and lime juice. So now we have it on paper towel to kind of get rid of all the excess um, water. We did melt some butter. So, you know, a lot of people use olive oil or everything like that, but we're gonna use some butter because we're gonna bake these in the oven on a rack and we wanna make sure that they get a nice um, crust on the outside. So we're gonna use some butter um, to marinate these in too. All right, so as you can see, we have our cayenne pepper, paprika, garlic pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Creole seasoning, ground ginger, black pepper, and then we have our famous Walker's Hood wet jerk seasoning. And then we have the dry jerk seasoning right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our wings off the paper towel, get in a bowl, and we're going to get this started. So guys, stay with me because this is going to be one delicious recipe. So we're ready to season, all right? So in our container right here, we have one teaspoon of our garlic pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon cayenne pepper, one teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon of brown ginger, and one teaspoon of black pepper. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle all of that in. So nothing that goes in the bowl other than the uh, Creole seasoning. We have one teaspoon of Creole seasoning too. That's the only thing that has um, any salt. So now, we're gonna add four teaspoons of our ground jerk seasoning. Then our wet jerk season, we're gonna add one tablespoon, which one tablespoon is equivalent to three teaspoons. And then we're going to um, add our butter. But just give me all one right, minute. So we've added all our spices in our bowl. Now I did melt a half a stick of butter. I'm going to, well, I pretty much added all of that. That's a little ASMR. All right, so we're going to get in there and we're going to um, rub it up to marinate. We're gonna let this marinate for as long as we want. So you can marinate this for an hour. You can marinate it for two hours, three hours, four hours, as long as you want. So I'm just gonna let this marinate, but let it marinate for at least a half an hour. Everything smells delicious. That butter on top of it and the marinade, oh, so lovely. So guys, I'm gonna cover this and let it uh, marinate. I'm gonna marinate it room temperature because nothing will happen to the chicken once you season it. It's up to you though if you want to put yours in the refrigerator, but then it's gonna um, change the temperature of your wings. So I'll see you when we're ready to put this in the right, oven. So wings have been marinating for the last couple hours. Um, we have our oven preheated. Now we're gonna lay out all our wings. On a rack, we made sure we put some foil paper under the bottom. So that when we have all the drippage, um, we don't have much cleaning to do. So we're gonna go ahead and lay out all of these and then our butter mixture that we have in the bottom of our container, we're gonna add a little bit of jerk sauce to that and kind of glaze these and stick them in the oven. So I'll see you guys in all a right, minute. So as you can see, all our wings are laid out. And then in our bowl right here, we got about a half a cup of um, jerk barbecue sauce and mix it with the butter. If you don't have any jerk sauce, the best way to do this is to just season the wings as is, and then the butter, you just um, sprinkle it over the top um, once you've once you've laid out your wings. So that way, 
the butter will help to caramelize. So what you wanna do, that paste, you just wanna go over the top of each and every wing and glaze them. And then we're gonna stick them in the oven at 300 and, well, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. All right, so I'll see you guys when these get out of the oven. So this is how our wings look after 20 minutes in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and flip them over. All right, now we're gonna let them go for another 10 minutes. I'm probably gonna put them in um, the fryer to crisp them up. So I'll see you guys in another 10 minutes. So after 30 minutes in the oven, this is our jerk wings look. We're gonna go ahead and fry them up for about three minutes. So I'll see you over at the stove in just a minute. All right, guys, so we have our chow mein beef teriyaki. Um, says to fill it to the line, so we fill it to the line. We're now gonna go ahead and put it in the microwave for five minutes. Once we put this in the microwave for five minutes, then we're gonna um, pour in our teriyaki sauce packet. So I'll see you in All right, so our oil is heated. Um, I'm only gonna be eating like eight of these wings. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, we're eating some jerk chicken wings, and then we're eating the beef chow mein teriyaki noodles. So before we get started, let's say a prayer. Father God, we thank you for this food we're about to receive. Take care of the impurities that it be of nourishment to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So we have our teriyaki sauce right here. We're going to go ahead and pour that in. I don't really love noodles, but I hope this is good. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Let's mix that in. I just hope it's good. Hope it's good. <laughs> All right. Let's take a thumbnail. All right. Let's go ahead and pour some sauce over our wings. Mm -mm -mm. Woo! All right, take a bite. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Those wings are perfect. Mm -mm -mm. So, I want to say a special shout out to Carolina Hillbillies. That's a good platform to go and um, just meet people. Mm. That was refreshing. To meet people who are similar like you, who are trying to grow their channels. You meet some awesome, great people. And the man himself. It's just a great guy. Mm. Take a bite of the noodles. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's not bad at all. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> but yeah, so. Today, we are going to talk about why it is important 
to start teaching your kids principle. Mm. Manners from their young. And a lot of people will say that kids at a young age don't understand certain things and they do. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, you'll see him. Mm. You'll see a lot of parents don't parent their kids properly at home. Mm. Yeah, and then when they're on the road and could try and verse them, then they try to put the road down. <laughs> mm. Mm, that's never a good idea because the child is going to double embarrass you. So it's always important to teach a child from their young. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. This teriyaki beef flavor noodles are delicious. I'm not lying. They're not salty. Just perfect. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know the song said, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy. <laughs> oh my. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This win. On two Friday, ma. That jerk just come along. Seems that they were on a smoker. Oh my goodness. Mm. But yeah. So. Parenting back in the day. It's so different from parenting now because there are so much words that I couldn't use in front of my mom that I think kids using in front of their parents right now. My mom, she was so strict, so, so, so strict. Mm. <laughs> we all get whooping for leave the yard. Mm -mm. Not even left me could have left the yard, me I tell the people. Mm. Mm -mm. Because my mom would say if I'm beside her all the time, nobody can say that I did do, I did this and I did that. Because she would know. Mm. She would know that I didn't do it because I was right beside her. But if I'm not beside her, and someone say I do something evil, she knows it's something that I wouldn't do. Mm. She would still whoop me. Because she said, if I didn't left the yard, nobody could have called any of them. <laughs> but I remember this story so well. Mm. I was like six or seven. So my teacher and my brother, my older brother teacher were like two best friends. I was in grade one. My brother was in the fifth grade. And so we used to have Bible study with this um, other teacher that teach in the fifth grade. Well, my teacher from the first grade and the fifth grade teacher, which is my brother's teacher, were so close that every day they had lunch together in my classroom. So, mm. 
one Sunday when we went to um, Bible study, the grade five teacher who was a Bible teacher, who wasn't my brother's teacher, said to us, she was like, Andre, you know that um, your teacher <laughs> is getting married. Mm. And me now as the six, seven year old, I was smart enough to understand that these people are so close. So that when I went to school, I asked my teacher, I was like, are you going to XYZ Z wedding? And she was like, she's getting married? I said, yeah. And then the news got back around to the other lady who told my brother. Hmm. <laughs> well, that lady went and told my mom, she was like, listen, your son went to school and caused trouble. Because <laughs> he spoke something that he heard. Oh my goodness. My mom whooped my ass. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. And you know what she told me? She said, no one gave you a message to give anyone. She said to me, she said, you hear two people talking about something. You don't know what it's about. Don't go ahead and repeat it back. From that day until today, they have a saying in Jamaica, they say, take sleep on my debt. And that means, you know, something happened to you today, you better be aware. Don't let it happen to you again, because next time you might be on your debt row. Mm. So, whenever I hear something, and that person didn't give me a message to deliver, I have nothing to say. Oh. But, this food is so good. Mm. I've been eating, 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 talking, talking. I will give you another wing. Get another wing. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. These wings are so perfect. Mm. This is it. Um, a lot of people like their wings super, super crispy. That's not me. Mm -mm. I like the perfect. Um, you can tell that I hardly eat noodles because I don't even know how to roll it on the fork. So good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I sat here and ate ten wings. Mm. But they're so good. But guys, I say all this to say that there's always a lesson to be learned, no matter how young you are or how old you are. Mm.
That was a delicious meal. So guys, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. If this, if you have been here all this time and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified every single time we upload a brand new video. And I want to say keep great energy, positive people, and aspire to do greater things. So I want to say thank you all, love you all, and peace.